All right, we are on the Riverwalk, your typical touristy spot, but hey, it's beautiful. It shows off the city, so that's why we're here. We are doing 24-hour videos in cities. Of course, I'm going to kick it off in Chicago. That's where I'm from. You've seen all my videos. Now we're slamming a lot together. We're going to hit you with coffee, that local spot, the restaurant, cocktails. We're going to get drunk. We're going to have fun. I want you guys to come with me. Hey, let's go check it out. of a spill especially when I'm about to go shoot a video look at this coffee spill in the morning klutz I know where we're at I don't know why I looked at the sign we are at heritage bicycle coffee coffees and bikes you can buy a bike you can have a vegan crunch wrap they just changed the menu they got a new chef let's get coffee because I'm fucking tired Got their seasonal one, vanilla spice latte. Pretty spicy, taste of vanilla, it's good. It wakes me up, plus the shot of espresso. They threw in a breakfast sandwich for us, it was very kind of them. Looks like we got some hot sauce, bacon, arugula, egg. I mean, you don't really need much more than that on ciabatta bread. And the hot sauce is really good, it's not too hot. You know, mixes well with all the fatty, the bacon and the egg. I'm dripping literally all over the place. Now, we're gonna go hit up that local spot. A few minutes later. We are at stop number two, Elmwood Park, Illinois. This is where I grew up. I grew up in Melrose, but it's the town over. That's where I went to school. Take a look. St. Vincent, Sister Judy, she used to actually grab me by the collar. I remember it back in the day. I don't know, maybe that's why I have different views on the Catholic Church now. This is what Chicago's known for. In my opinion, is the Italian beef sandwich. I get it with sweet peppers. We're gonna get a tamale. We're gonna get a sausage sandwich. We're gonna get all the food. Stop number two. We're first in line. There's always a line when you come to Johnny's Beef. It's old school, you gotta bring cash too. Cash only. Gangster shit. I almost just called 911 on my phone. You ever do that? Johnny's has been here for over 50 years. Would always come here after school, walk. You know, I'd get $5 and I'd buy an Italian beef and french fries. So it really brings me back to that time. I remember we were walking down the street one time, third grade, and we knocked on a window. The guy pulled, showed us a gun, pulled us inside, and told us he was gonna press charges on us, all because we banged on a window. We like ding dong dished them or something. I love this beef sandwich. The beef is thinly shredded, it's seasoned, the sweet peppers, are the jarred sweet peppers. I love these things. Add so much flavor. The beef's juicy. There's a sandwich that describes the city. Chicago is the Italian beef, sweet peppers. You throw some of the french fries in the sandwich. This is the one sandwich you cannot pass up. Then you got the Italian ice. It's basically frozen lemonade, and that's what we're doing. You know, they open the doors three minutes late, but we forgive them for that. That's forgivable. If it would have went past five minutes, we would have been mad. The line's always around the block. Honestly, we could probably go to the next spot. We, we got a camera into Starbucks Reserve. Pretty cool. Huh? This is, this seems pretty unnecessary for a Starbucks, but I get it, I like it. It's pretty, it's the biggest Starbucks in the world. We're gonna get the whiskey barrel aged cold brew. And a cold brew with whiskey, why not, right? That'll make you go to the bathroom for sure. What do you guys think the rent is here? If you had to guess. I mean, this is, looks like prime real estate on Michigan Avenue. I would say this is 250000 a month. But I heard Gucci is, the Gucci on Rodeo Drive is a million a month. I don't know how true that is. I mean, think about it though. When this guy had a push cart and was pushing coffee in a cart in Seattle, you think he ever thought he'd be able to do this? Maddie, what's your favorite coffee here? the um, minted whiskey grill aged cold brew. That's what we got. See we, yeah. see how we set that up? You see how easy we do these things? <laughs> um, we take Guatemalan uh, coffee beans um, before they're roasted, put them in empty whiskey barrels, um, rotate them for a couple of months, and then it soaks in all that whiskey flavor. Um, but when we roast the coffee, the alcohol cooks off. Okay, that so makes sense. Delicious flavors.
Megan? Mm -hmm. Megan? Megan or Megan? Megan. I say Megan. It's wrong. It's wrong? That's fair. I mean, it's your name. It ain't mine. Yep. And your favorite thing here is what? It's taking you a long time. <laughs> I love ice cream. Thanks for letting us on the roof, Megan. It's beautiful. You see, take a look. You got the, the shots of everything. You got a little Marilyn Monroe, Nike, matches my shirt. That doesn't fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't know you had to wear a suit to come to Starbucks. Nope. Do you always yell at all your guests? Nope. Just this one? Yeah. Okay, fair. We're across from the Yeezy, uh, Yeezy Gap thing. I'm invested in Gap now. Did you buy the Gap? I did. You did? Yeah. Look at that, see yeah, people, it's working. Rappers. Okay, we are at Monte Verde. It's one of my favorite Italian restaurants in the city, maybe in the world. Chef Sarah, she's won James Beard Award, Great Lakes. She's a Michelin star chef. We're doing it here at Monte Verde. I love their food. I come here all the time. It's a block away from my house. Got change, ready for dinner. We're gonna go out, have some cocktails after. Like I said, we're breaking down Chicago in 24 hours. Let's go eat. You guys ready? We got appetizers. Right now we have the Naduja Arancini, Sicilian rice fritters, manchango, and a tonnado aioli. Inside these arancini balls, there's a Naduja, which is a spicy pork spread. We have rice in here. You have like almost a tuna fish aioli. So good. I get these here every single time I come here. Fried perfectly. It is, you know, this is like Italian street food, so. You're walking around Italy, you stop at a stand, boom, you get one of these. We have the burrata ham with a rosemary tagile, which is bread that they make in Emilia Romagna, which is a part of Italy. One of the best chefs in the world has a restaurant there. We have prosciutto, grilled cherry tomato, toasted garlic chips, and burrata. And how we're gonna do this, we're gonna make a little sandwich, okay? Take some prosciutto, stuff it in there. Grilled tomato. It's like the best little sandwich ever. It's a new type of sub. And the burrata, you cannot, cannot pass up when you come here. So come with friends, come with loved ones, come with a big group. I mean, also social distance, but you have to come here and get it all. All right, so we have the nacchetti, confesto, house-made ricetta, basil, Tuscan pine nut, and Sardinian pecorino. I love their pesto here. So you're not supposed to mix it, even though sometimes I break the rules and mix it, but you're not supposed to, okay? Let's get a little bit of everything, because that's how you gotta do it, right? Don't be, uh, don't get cheap out it. It's so good, these flavors. I mean, it's just, it's literally my favorite pesto in the world. I love that all that isn't mixed in with the pesto. No bullshit. I get this probably once a week. It's my go-to, it's my comfort um, pasta. You know, when you're like pissed off, about what's going on in the world, and you're stuck, and you're like, what's gonna make me feel better? This is what I get. So we had to get it, it's new on the menu, the meatball ravioli. Their meatballs are made with super sod, which is like a spicy pork. I love it, it I never had it before I came here. It makes the meatball, so, so much flavor in the meatball, you know, it adds like a saltiness to it, it's unbelievable. These raviolis have Tuscan kale, wild oregano, Pecorino, let's cut it in half. I don't know, do you eat ravioli with a spoon or a fork? I, I'm a fork guy, but I eat most of my meals with forks. That is unreal. It's not too al dente, but it's perfect for a ravioli. The meatball in it is just unbelievable, it goes so well. If you like raviolis, which most people do, it'd be very hard, very hard to pass this up. This is the meatball I was talking about. You have to get one separately because it's just one meatball. You gotta, you gotta try it. But this is the inside of the ravioli. I'm telling you, because there's super sod in this, it just makes it so much better. I love it. I mean, I really do. I can eat 10 of these. We're going in for some pasta, right? And now all their pasta's in house. That's why it's like, like you're really eating in Italy. Look at this. We're going to get cocktails after this. I am not eating another thing the rest of the night. I love their red sauce, very sweet. This is like a thicker spaghetti, so it goes so well with it. So when you come to Monte Verde, you gotta do what I said, you gotta order all this. But if you're not gonna, you gotta choose one thing. One thing when you come here. 
the meatball raviolis are new and it kind of threw me for a spin because I wasn't expecting it. And I said, I love their meatballs. You have to get a meatball. You just do. But my favorite, the pesto, still remains my favorite. It's what you got to get when you come here. Now, let's go get drunk. All right. <laughs> we are at Mama Delia in Wicker Park. Hey, let me show you around. Look at this place. Look at this hall. big dinner and now what are we gonna do we're gonna get wasted at this place and we're also gonna get some appetizers because it's a Spanish restaurant Spanish bar so you know we're gonna get jamon you know I'm gonna get some olives some almonds they're bringing everything out we're gonna get really drunk and we're drinking between I'm gonna go cocktail for cocktail so right now we're battling between two this is never trust a Spaniard which hey I don't blame me I didn't say that shit that's what it's named they're Spanish here um, it's got mezcal, lime, a red pepper syrup that they make in-house. That's very good. It's spicy for sure. You taste it. This is your classic gin and tonic, Spanish drink. We have an orange peel in here with some mint. It's a bush. It's a bush coming at me. I'm going downtown. I wish the gin and tonic would have trimmed up a little bit. All right, well, which one am I going to drink first? We have a bunch coming. We're doing old fashions as well. I'm going to choose, I'm drinking the gin and tonic right now. All right, let's drink the gin and tonic. Okay, so heirloom tomatoes. From Nichols Farm, which is a local farm. I like it, I like it. And it's olive oil, sea salt, and then this bread is from Baba Lingerie, which is actually in Logan Square. It's a French bakery. Okay, I, I would have never guessed it was Logan Square. I would have thought that was like Paris or something. Exactly. Great, thank you. I can't believe we're eating again. I mean, we're eating again. I'm eating more bread. More bread, more tomato. That's super fresh. I love heirloom tomatoes. But if you've had the, you know, the chance to go to Spain, I've been to Madrid. And it's actually a place I'm considering moving to because I loved it so much. And you can't really drink without, you know, we have Marcona almonds. Different olives. I love olives. Do you? I don't know. Now, the guy from Spain came, the head carver came and taught you how to do this? Yeah, the, the master carver, Raul, he comes every two months and gives us lessons about how to carve this. Because only authorized carvers are authorized to sell it and carve it in front of the customer. Uh, every two months? You gotta every learn? two months or even less, yeah. Oh, that's an art. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much. Look at this amount. I mean, I know we had a big dinner, but I never pass on this. I've had it in Spain. This is the single hold this pig. Oh my God. We're in Spain right now. We're in Chicago, but we're in Spain. Oh, we got more food. I fucking forgot we got more food. I've tried a lot of different foods. I've never had whipped mackerel. So I'm gonna throw it on a little, I'm gonna spread it on a little bit of bread. Kind of nervous about this one. I shouldn't be. We'll take a little bit, a little pepper, a little shishito pepper. It's really good. It's not too fishy. I thought it was gonna be over the top fishy. I'm not that big on mackerel, but this goes really well together. The shishito pepper with it. I just can't believe I'm eating this much. We have fresh tuna, olives, breadcrumbs, black garlic. I can't wait to try this. It's gonna be excellent. Wow, the black garlic strong. I love it with the breadcrumbs. More cocktails. This is the detox one. They put tahini around the rim. If you don't know what tahini is, I used to sell a ton of it. It's like a salty, spicy, lime flavored seasoning. You put it on fruit, you put it on watermelon. They got it on their detox drink. You know, maybe it helps you actually not have a hangover. I don't know why it's called detox. And this is another mezcal drink with a sherry float and wanabana. Fruit. Spice of the mezcal with all the fruit flavors. It goes really well together. Okay. Very peppery. 
I love mezcal, so this is. I'm gonna go with the mezcal. This one uh, is for you guys. There you go. We thought we were done, and they, you know, they pulled us back in. Godfather. It's from an eight-year-old cow. It is tartar, pickled anchovies, potato chips, and bone marrow. You gotta get a little bit of everything. That's fucking awesome. Salty. You really taste the cow. It's a ribeye. It's a crazy combo. They didn't even know we could get this in America. They got it in. Classy people, classy restaurant. The chefs know what they're doing. I love this place. This is why it's in the Chicago episode. Okay, we're waiting for some old fashions. It's what they're known for here. They're gonna light them on fire. It's like a banana, it's foster, old fashioned. Ricky's our bartender. Right, old fashioned. This is what our dessert is. Bananas foster old fashioned. Never had that. It's the craziest thing I've ever had to drink. I mean, you could taste the fire, you could taste the banana, you could taste the whiskey. It's <laughs> I'm drinking fire right now. I think that's an episode. Cut it.